So Sue, from your national security perspective, why is PQC important and why should the government start transitioning to PQC now? Um, so I'll kind of go macro to micro on the kind of why we should care. Uh, so a couple things are obvious and that if they weren't obvious before, they've become obvious now. Number one, peace is not actually broken out. Um, abundance is actually much more of an illusion than we thought it was three years ago. There are people who are using the digital environment to advance their interests at the expense of ours, and there is no evidence that that desire is abating. So it's a big old goofy world that is dangerous where in the digital space people are advancing interests. Uh, so just wrap your head around that. Second is there are people, and China is just a great example, that is just as interested and all, has essential parity with us in terms of what they're doing on the computational front. Um, China alone has at least seven different types of quantum computer projects, and they, as Jen alluded to, are in the process of conducting these uh, store now, decrypt later kinds of attacks so that we know that it's underway. And I would just say that, that if you think about what the vulnerable attack surface is, you know, national security is so much bigger than we even thought about five years ago. Certainly all the things that the classical national security complex has in terms of safeguarding its uh, weapons technology and sense of information. But if you think about private data and biological and genomic data and that information, which is held by companies, the, the body of systems and the data they contain are so much more interesting than they were a minute ago that I think you just have to figure that this is where the fight is going to be waged. You know, Jim, when you asked the question of, of when should the government start uh, transitioning uh, to a post-quantum environment, I, I, what leapt in my head was the question about when should you plant a tree, and that's 10 years ago or today. Um, and even though I think we project that really uh, we're looking at something that could be somewhere in the 10 to 20 years off, there it takes so much time, especially within the government, but with all its affiliations and the ecosystem that it affects to transition, that there are things you ought to start doing today. And I think the first two that are the easiest to do is know what's on your system, know what crypto systems you currently have, so almost in inventory. And the second is, what is it that you have that's important to protect? Perfect protection is never going to be achievable because perfect protection looks like not working. But understand what it is that you possess that ought to be protected. And with those two things in place, you'll be off and running um, when the standards get set and the products become available. 